problem with that statement is that you can replace uh, New York in a general election. Uh, you know, if you say that about New Yorkers, you probably would say it about Floridians. Uh, certainly, a lot of transplanted New Yorkers are in Florida. No, Florida is not the same as New York. You look at California. But, but, yeah. but, but his standard, his standard is, you know, he's 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 exalting. Florida is a Republican state. He, he's exalting South Carolina, which I understand they're having a debate in South Carolina. So he's exalting South Carolina and the conservatism right. that is present there, while diminishing all of the other states. You That's answer great. for you. Answer well, okay, you, uh, well, let's hear it. But you, you, you answer for that in a general election, and I don't think the answer is a pleasant one. For, first, you bring up Florida. There's a lot of New Yorkers that flee New York for Florida because of the conservative principles that are governed, that, you know, they would be governed under in Florida but, versus in New York. Well, my point and is they don't go to Florida and change. In, in it, well, no. Right, they don't the conservatives leave. They, yeah, exactly. Okay. The conservatives are the first to flee. And, and in addition to that, you have a lot of New Yorkers going to Texas, too, which is another conservative-run state. He's not just and, – and people like myself that are originally from Oklahoma, people that are going to be a part of the SEC primary in states like Louisiana, Alabama, and Mississippi, even uh, caucus-goers in Iowa know that he wasn't pandering to South Carolina there. He is speaking for people outside of the Beltway, outside of Manhattan, and outside of Los Angeles, and that – all he wanted to reach, and so I don't think it's a dig. Okay, so it's a, so it, look, it's clearly a dig at New York, right? And guess no, what? I'm, I'm saying it's right. not a dig at all of the other 49 states. Of course not, and nobody in the other 49 states doubt this. Even people in New York know this, okay? Everybody hates people from New York. Okay, let's be real about this for one second. Okay, people from New York. Well, they haven't for the last 15 years post 9-11. Okay, that's no, my point. Okay, that's, that's, okay. Well, in the, and, and everybody, look, and that's, look, that's cynical look, play. It's look, a really cynical play. Hold also, on, isn't it kind of disingenuous for people from New York to feel like they're the only ones that were attacked on 9-11? Okay, this there, is there, there, were military, <laughs> there, there were people from around the country, including friends of mine, that Wait. went to Afghanistan and fought and died because of they were spurred on well, by what happened on 9-11, okay. not just to New York City, but to us as an entire nation. Well, that's true, but the, 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 obviously that's true. The people of New York responded magnificently to 9-11, no one doubts that. However, if Ted Cruz said D.C. values, and somebody came back and said, are you talking about the response of people after the Pentagon was hit on 9-11? Everybody would go, wait, what? what? Well, and and that's, this whole thing is a bunch of arrogant, self-centered New Yorkers who are very upset that someone name-checked their city Let in a negative way. We all understand what New York values are. New York values are John Lindsay and Michael Bloomberg. New York values are Hillary Clinton and Rudy Giuliani. I thought Rudy Giuliani, too. I thought he was popular. They tried to throw Rudy Giuliani out after 9-11. Let me – okay, the, 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 as, as somebody who was born and in Rudy New York and Rudy Giuliani's only response, as you know, to David Dinkins, who they elected because he was black Let me and say he this. stunk at his job. Let me say this. Um – if I may just take a moment. I was born in New York and, and grew up there I'd been, uh, till I was 22. Since you deny that there are things that such well, as New York values, you're from there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to address all of it here. Uh, I was born in New York and grew up there and moved from New York at 22 and have lived in California for the 22 years since. So, wow, look at that, half and half uh, uh, mathematically, half in New York, half here. Uh, having grown up in New York and being born in New York, going to New York Yankees baseball games, I am very, uh, and, and having traveled the country, I am very aware of the anti-New York feeling. Oh, New Yorkers think they're better than everybody else. I'm very aware of that sentiment. I'm very aware of what people think uh, when they think negatively about New Yorkers because I've experienced it. I know what that's all like. I also, as an observation, uh, have been around long enough, as we all have, to have experienced 9-11 and to have seen the pendulum swing from all oh, New Yorkers are arrogant and they're superior, and the pendulum swing all the way to the other side. They're the they are the fiber of American being. They're tough and resilient, and they personify the spirit of freedom. I saw that pendulum swing. I've lived through that entire swing, and now I just note with Ted Cruz's criticism of New York values, whatever that means. And I think you're right. I think we know what that means politically. We know what that means. I think I can say now I'm alive to see the pendulum swinging back to where it was before. Right. 9-11. And you're elected a communist. Well, Bill de Blasio is your mayor. Well, um, if, if, if true, he, I don't think Cruz, actually, uh, point of information, I don't think he mentioned de Blasio. No, but when he talks about socially liberal, pro, pro gay well, that, that goes on long before ha- Bill de Blasio. It's the place where Hillary Clinton was elected after she carpet bagged into the state. It's the place where a communist cur- and anti cop guy currently serves as mayor of New York City. Well, being Democrat, somebody, okay. they've been electing Democrats forever. Let me make a point. Okay, the, the, here, in, in the last debate before this, sure. there are a couple of times when Republicans made fun of the French, right? And everybody understood Republicans make fun of the French. Yeah, freedom fries, and that all went away when the Paris bombing happened. Okay, but, but 
nobody immediately that's said similar those French people are so brave because of what happened at, at the Bonacol. Well, yeah, people, yeah, certainly they, they did. People nobody ch- nobody people did People changed their Facebook profile no, pictures no, 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 to have French color no, flags right. after, after the debate, debate. When Republicans said, when they made fun of the French, nobody said, those terrible Republicans making fun of the victims of terror. Nobody said that. Okay, the fact is, the, the Democrats, the, this is a cynical ploy because here's the fact. The media despise Donald Trump, right? They don't like Donald Trump. They think that he's a loudmouth and he's a bragger, which is true. They also do this routine where Rudy Giuliani, when he ran for president in 2008, he would mention 9-11, and every time he did, every single person in the media would roll their eyes. Donald Trump cynically name-checks 9-11 to talk about something Ted Cruz was not even mildly referring to, and the entire media faints dead away because Donald Trump is so wonderful. The reason for that is because they hate Ted Cruz, not because they didn't understand what Ted Cruz was saying. We will give, in a moment, uh, after our break, our letter grades for all of the candidates in the Republican debate last night. We want to squeeze in a phone call at 855 785 